What facial features were cast members of Jesse not allowed to have? How were the cast creatively silenced? And why did people claim that Disney Channel ultimately owned the Jesse cast? Hi, I'm Janet, taking you behind the scenes of the calculated media appearances, studio wars, and outrageous on-set rules. No hair policy. Before they were officially welcomed into the mouse ear wearing world of Disney Channel, it seemed that Jesse producers made one thing very clear. They would not tolerate this one specific thing, facial hair. And well, for the then preteen boys, Karen Brar and Cameron Boyce, who sadly passed away back in 2019, shaving off their newly grown man stubble wasn't exactly fun. Like most boys, the growing of facial hair was a cool hallmark of growing up. But unfortunately, Disney Channel was having none of it. So why did the network have such a major grudge against facial hair? Well, it was because keeping the boys clean shaven helped maintain their youthful appearance. As a result, the boys were expected to shave whenever peach fuzz was forming on their faces. In fact, they even had to shave every single day before coming to set. But it seems that facial hair being a no-no isn't exactly new for Disney. Have you ever noticed how many of the animated male Disney princes don't have facial hair? Crazy, right? From Aladdin to Prince Charming and Prince Naveen, it seems that our boys are also clean-shaven. If you really think about it, you've probably only ever seen a few mustaches or beards. And they are usually on older characters or villains, which is an interesting choice. While beards may be in fashion at the moment, the Disney network doesn't seem too keen on following the trend. But only time will tell. Maybe 2021 will bring us our very first bearded Disney hero. So if the boys of Jesse ever felt that shaving their budding 5 o'clock shadow was unfair, they could breathe a sigh of relief knowing that even renowned Disney princes couldn't grow their beards either. Zero creative freedom. If you were under the impression that the cast of Jesse got a say in how their characters would be portrayed, then you would be wrong. Yup, it seems that full creative freedom and expression were saved for the show's executives. All of the hilarious interactions between the characters? Scripted. All of the cool, colorful outfits on the show? Pre-planned by executives. Character development? Decided on by the Disney Channel head office. In fact, the lack of creative freedom was the reason that fellow Disney stars Cole and Dylan Sprouse left the franchise. According to an interview Dylan Sprouse did, the twins had an idea for another Sweet Life spin-off series. And as you can guess, the Disney execs didn't appreciate their creative input. I mean, we had a really awesome idea for where the show needed to go, he said. We were 18. If that isn't old enough to know exactly what the show needs, then, well, I would beg to disagree. After the executive said no, the Sprouse brothers officially quit Disney. And so, it quickly became clear that no matter how old you were or how famous you became, if any of the actors had an idea for the show's direction, they were immediately shut down, without hesitation. Which meant four seasons of Jesse with the cast being completely creatively silenced. You don't own your time. This may seem a little morbid, but it's true. As soon as the cast of Jesse signed on the dotted line for the four season action comedy series, they were officially signing off their time. All of the cast members were expected to show up for work, no matter what. When the producers of Jesse called, the cast were expected to be there immediately, and they weren't given much of a choice in the matter. The idea here was that they were to always be available to the crew for reshoots, no matter where they were or what they were doing. So, what was the reason behind Disney essentially owning their employees? Well, the network is known for having rather strict shooting and airing timelines that are set in stone. But that didn't mean it wouldn't affect the cast. In an interview with Teen Vogue, Debbie Ryan shared how she couldn't wait to have more control over her time again. While gearing up for the fourth and last season, she told Teen Vogue, When Jesse raps, I'm going to make being an actual human, a daughter, a sister, a friend, my job. I love to work, but I'm going to keep a little time for me. And we love that she now has more time to be in charge of her own time. Monitoring social media. It seems that the rules for the cast of Jesse happened both on and off the set. Did you know that each member of the show had to sign a strict social media clause? Yup, but there is a good reason behind their social media monitoring, and it can be all summarized in one word. Spoilers! Accidents definitely happen. One of the cast members might take a selfie and accidentally show a set design secret in the back or ruin one of the storylines. 
So, to save themselves the stress of having secret information leaked, each cast member had to run each and every social media post past the show's producers first. Once it was approved, they were allowed to post it. And Sky Jackson, who played Zuri on the show, knew exactly how daunting posting on social media was. Be aware of online and in real life. Everything from a photo to what you say, how you say it, all of that, she said. So, before you go auditioning for the next Disney series, just know that your social media page will be monitored at all times. Vocal changes. It's one thing to control what the cast posts on social media, it's another to control how they dress on the show. But many were surprised to hear that Disney executives even controlled the cast's speaking voices. Did you ever wonder why everyone on Jessie had a different voice when they weren't on the show? Well, it isn't a coincidence. Aside from the usual changes in tone due to puberty, the cast of Jessie were expected to switch their voices. All of the actors were expected to increase the pitch of their voices into a higher-pitched accent in order to appear younger. So even with all of the cast members going through puberty and having their voices naturally change, all of them had to attend regular classes to make sure that their high-pitched voices lasted as long as possible. Crazy, right? Expect regular autograph training. Okay, you may not believe us on this one, but it's totally true. Your favorite Jesse characters all had to go through autograph lessons. And yes, that's actually a thing. So, if you were thinking that the members of Jesse simply scribbled their names haphazardly onto a piece of paper, think again. A lot more goes into the autographing than you may think. As you have probably already gathered, Disney wanted everything to be perfect when it came to their show, Jesse. And that included figuring out how each and every member would sign autographs. But thankfully, they all had each other to help figure it all out. It's fun that I grew up with other people who were kind of in the same situation on the show. Like on Jesse, shared Peyton List, who played Emma Ross on the show. Everyone was quickly put into autograph training classes from the start of season one. The aim of these lessons was to ensure that they all perfected their penmanship. This was also important for the show's merch that included signed DVDs, posters, and clothing items that were gifted to fans. I mean, they couldn't have Debbie Ryan signing merchandise with three different signatures now, could they? Thankfully, they were all in it together. You still have to study. On the topic of attending classes, autograph training was actually only one of three classes that the Jesse cast had to take. And don't worry, we will get to their third class in a moment. So straight after their autograph lesson, the show's youngest members still had to attend school. Yep, just because you're a mega-famous Disney star didn't mean you could skip out on homework and class. And so Cameron Boyce, Peyton List, Sky Jackson, and Karan Barrar all had to go to school while still filming the series. One moment they were reciting lines for their next scene, and the next they were trying to solve algebraic equations. It's a lot for anyone. But this cast was determined to do it all. And they absolutely nailed it, because having a full-time job and a schooling career is definitely no easy feat. Always be prim and proper. In the trifecta of behind-the-scenes Jesse classes, everyone was also expected to attend etiquette classes. Now, this may come as a shock to you given the rowdy nature of all the characters, but they actually have enough behind-the-scenes etiquette skills that they would have been prepared to have tea with the queen. See, while their characters may have been energetic and mischievous, the actors had to maintain a PG and innocent persona at all times because they were trying to avoid any public scandals. Keeping their public image squeaky clean meant ensuring that they knew exactly how to behave in the spotlight. Insiders at Disney even said that the stars were offered guidance on essential life skills, how to deal with critics, and necessary vocabulary for interviews. No bikinis allowed. On the topic of keeping things PG, none of the girls on the show were allowed to wear bikinis. According to the show's creative team, bikinis were a little too risque for the show. But this rule wasn't just for when they were filming, it still applied off of set too. Yes, you actually didn't have to be filming for Disney executives to dictate what they could and couldn't wear when they were out in public. Again, this was to help maintain their public image as good, positive Disney actors. And so, if they were looking to cool down by the swimming pool or go frolicking around on the beach, the girls from Jessie had to do it in a full-piece swimsuit. 
and the pressure to be perfect and constantly covered up was a strange concept for Peyton List. I think they just expect us to be really conservative and always cover up and not really be who they truly are, she shared. But since the show ended, the cast has definitely loved being able to decide what they wear, how they speak, and the vocabulary that they use. And it's clear that they are all enjoying the freedom. We'd like to know what your thoughts were on the strict rules that the cast of Jessie had to follow. Which ones would you say were completely outrageous? Which ones did you think were valid? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.